Okay, here is my clean tone, my Fender Strat, through my pedal board, into my Deluxe Reverb. The only pedal that I have on is the Deja Vibe, and it's giving me a slight boost. Off. Slight boost. You'll hear it more once I have a little bit of overdrive turned on. Now, here's Tube Screamer number one. The volume is set to unity, the tone is set to 10 o'clock, and the gain is set to noon. And my guitar is wide open. When I back my guitar down to about 7, 8, If I bring my volume wide open, it's going to put more volume through the pedal, so I'm going to have more distortion come out. That's with my guitar wide open. Through Tube Screamer number one. Now I'm going to bring in my Tube Screamer number two, and they're going to be stacked. Now, Tube Screamer number two, the unity, or the volume is set on unity, just like Tube Screamer number one, and the tone is also set at ten, just like Tube Screamer number one. So they're identical in that uh, respect, but my gain on Tube Screamer number two is set at three o'clock. Uh, now, when I turn my volume down on my guitar all the way off, you can definitely hear some, some hiss. Whereas my pedal board with that uh, second tube screamer off is really quiet. Uh, so considering all that I have going on here and an overdrive on, that's very, very, very quiet. But when you do bring in a, tech, a second tube screamer to the mix, you're going to get some noise. Uh, so just beware of that. So again, if I have my guitar wide open, I'm going to get the most amount of signal going through these two distortion box, hence the most amount of distortion coming out. So when I'm playing and singing, I back my um, volume down to about 7. That takes the edge off of the distortion, cleans up my tone a lot, so I can do my verses, I can sing over this, and when I go into a lead, open my guitar wide open. <laughs> my rhythm volume. Now I'm going to hit my rhythm volume and turn my guitar all the way up so you can hear the difference. By turning my volume down there I have it about six and a half or seven. Okay? So I really like to be able to craft my tone and my distortion my sustain, just the whole, uh, just just everything it is that I that I use as a springboard to play from. If I want a little bit cleaner sound, one tube screamer. Anytime I want to clean up either, just back my volume down on my guitar. Remember, less gain in, less distortion out. Whether there's one or two tube screamers, uh, ninety-five percent of my show I have both tube screamers on, uh, and that's when I'm playing three-piece rock and roll. Now, when I've played with other bands to where there's, uh, you know, multiple guitar players on stage, maybe keyboards, I tend to play with one tube screamer on about 70% of the time and only bring my second tube screamer in for leads. So, um, you know, it's a pretty three-piece band kind of sound to have both of these tube screamers running. Now, my Line 6 delay. Here's the delay that I use most of the night. It's on my first pedal. <laughs> So, blap, 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 blap. There's three delay slaps tagged on to my original signal. And each one of them gets more and more quiet, so it's fading out as it goes. And the first blap, blap, you know, it, it, it begins to trail immediately. When I go to my longer delay, the, uh, 
the delay is a little bit hotter because I use a longer delay for more of an effect and I and I want it to kind of hang in there with me longer. Notice my original hit and then the hit right after that's almost the same volume. And that's flat, 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 flat. That's five total. The original hit plus four. Okay, so here's... With nothing, here's with my short delay. Okay, now I'm going to back my volume off on my guitar just a little bit. You can tell the delays there, you can hear it, but it's not getting in the way, it's not stepping on what I'm doing. Now if I want to bring in this longer one... So if I'm playing a lead, uh, you know, and want to have some delay on, I typically go for this first one, like, you know, seven, eight times out of ten. Uh, it's when I really want to start doing something crazy and like I've played and played and played and played and played and I want to take it a little bit further that's when I switch to the longer delay or if I'm getting ready to end a song like at the end of a set and I want that last BAM and the set's over I can just you know it's just like you know all of a sudden everything's exploded BAM 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 so, you know, that, that's a nice effect at the very end of the show on a big, you know, like, here we go, this is all we got. Uh, now, I have another delay, this Memory Man, and I, all of these are tap uh, sensitive, although I don't use this tap, I just use these, I have them set just where I like them. But this one here I can bring in and I can tap whatever volume I want. And... A lot of times I'll use this in combination, like I've got this set at a fairly slow delay, probably really close to the second one. So here I've got a long delay and a short delay. That sounds kind of like a space echo. Um, so, uh, also let me show you the Stasia vibe on and off. Here's my signal, wide open, with it off. Now I'm going to play it with it off and turn it on for you. I love that. I just, I just love it. And like I said in my first video, uh, this Stasia vibe puts out a very weak signal. I think it's defective out of the box and didn't realize it. I've gotten used to it. I love it the way it is. I'm going to keep it. Uh, but I've heard other people use these and they have a much stronger signal. Uh, now, I seldom use my modulation, but I would probably turn my second tube screamer off. like roto vibe. There's my chorus. Vibrato. And tremolo. So it, it's really it's really nice and uh, again in the three piece Kelly Ritchie band uh, there's just you know what, what we're doing currently in our song list there, there's not a lot of slow down pretty stuff when we do uh, what in the world I just the deja vibe is just just enough you know of a modulation for that uh, when I do the longest road um, I'll put the longer delay on turned 
down to about five on my guitar volume itself. So it's uh, not very distorted, but both distortion units are on. Um, so I, I think that's really cool. Um, and then I've got my wall pedal. And I typically will use my wall with the shorter uh, delay. <laughs> great for rhythmic kind of, uh, you know, it really breaks up a lead and you can get like really kind of funky, but also for bringing sweet notes out in the guitar. <laughs> Right, like surfing, you can you can hit that sweet note when that harmonic begins to kick in. You can grab it with this wah wah pedal, really make it squeal. That's a lot of fun. Uh, and then uh, finally, the last thing I want to go over is my volume swells. <laughs> I'll get a longer delay, but it, but it, it doesn't do the volume, the like violin thing very well. Because by the time it delays, I'm already on to the next note, so it kind of, you know, gives you a whiplash. It, it, it hits you on the backside as you keep going, so that doesn't work so well. So you want to make sure that you've got a pretty tight delay, not not too fast, but definitely not too long. And um, so that's my pedal board. That's my amp. Again, my volume right now is on two because uh, I'm recording this with my iPhone and the microphone, you know, I don't want it to be too distorted. I apologize if it's distorted to some degree. Uh, my treble is just uh, shy of five and my bass is wide open and my reverb is on two. Now before we turn this off, I want to show you a little... Uh, box that I discovered this last week. Um, I'm going to switch from my deluxe amp to this Caliber 22 by Electro Harmonics. It's a little two watt amp. It's amazing. If you get one of these, do not plug in the power until you plug in the speaker. And I've got this running into my speaker cabinet. Normally I use this as an ex extension speaker to my um, deluxe reverb. I did not have that plugged in. I've got this plugged into it. So what I'm going to do, I also have a TC Electronics uh, reverb unit because it does not have reverb. And there's just a bright and a normal switch. That's the only EQ. So I've got it on bright and I've got the volume set uh, about 8.30. Uh, it's not even at 9 o'clock. I've got the reverb set on spring. Take a listen to this. Uh, here it is with no distortion. One tube screamer. And two tube screamers. just all I can say. I've got two of those on order. I've got two of these boogie cabinets. Um, this is actually a half back. The one that I typically put under this deluxe on stage is a full back, meaning that the back is totally enclosed. So I'm going to have a combination of these two speaker cabinets with two of these Excaliburs. I'm going to try them out at a show, see if it stands up. Uh, in here, it sounds great. When I plugged it in and used it for just five, ten minutes at a club, it sounded great. But I haven't seen if I could blow one up yet, so I'm going to try. And if I can't blow it up, then uh, it's a good thing. So thank you all, 
and I uh, hope this was informative. Please be sure and uh, send any questions that you have. I'll be happy to answer them. Okay? Kelly at KellyRitchie.com. Bye.